Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be making a hydrogen and oxygen generator. Due to the massive fuel prices, I've decided to experiment with different ways to make fuel. I started out by sanding down some 200x200x0.5 304 grade stainless steel sheets. A rough surface increases the surface area, therefore increasing your hydrogen production. I then cut some rubber gaskets 200x200x20x1.5. After that, I drilled and made 20mm holes diagonally from each other with my metal piercing tool. I made them diagonal so that the holes don't line up so that the electrical current doesn't go straight through the holes but through the steel plates. I then drilled 6mm holes evenly around the parameter, tapped and drilled two 20mm holes on two 250mm by 10mm perspex sheets. After that I made electrode holders from strips of stainless steel sheet and I silver soldered them onto the sheets. Of course you can just take this to be laser cut. Now it's time to assemble the generator. I start by laying down the rubber, then a plate with an electrode holder, then four neutral plates, then another plate with an electrode holder. I did this five times, so the total amount of plates is 41. Neutral plates decreases the voltage, therefore reducing the current, and therefore reducing the heat, and it increases the efficiency. I inserted bolts, nuts and washers, then tightened everything together. Once that's done, I cut 200mm of 110mm by 3 perspex pipe for the reservoir and 300mm of 50mm pipe for the safety flashback bubbler. Then I glued a 50mm threaded male fitting and an end cap, then tapped a 19mm thread for an 8mm 90 degree quick fit elbow. These quick fit fittings I got at a water purification shop or you can get them at a pet shop for fish tanks. Then I glued some end caps that I got at a hardware store onto the 110mm pipe for the reservoir and I glued the lid on. This will be for the bottom to hold the water.
made a rubber gasket for the top lid out of silicone and cornstarch. This makes a nice thick rubber seal. I then sprayed some oil lube onto the rim. This is so that the lid doesn't stick. Then I drilled and tapped 19mm holes and added fittings for the gas and water to pass in and out. I also added some fittings to the generator. For the electrodes where the wires get connected to, I use two lengths of 8mm threaded rod, nuts and washers, then put them into the electrode holders. Now it's time to fit everything together with some more fittings and some pipe. And there you have it, an oxygen and hydrogen dry cell generator. It's called a dry cell generator because the water flows through the plates instead of the plates submerged in the water. I decided to add this pressure relief valve just in case I have any flashback so that my bubbler doesn't explode. Then I added 3 tablespoons of caustic soda to 2 litres of water. This is to help with the conductivity. I connected my AC to DC power supply which I will show you how to make in another video. But you can also use a car battery. In another video, I'm going to attempt to run my petrol four-stroke generator on this hydrogen and oxygen mix, so stay tuned. The pop that you are going to hear from the bubbles is nothing to what it really sounded like. My ears were ringing and it sounded like a gunshot, so please be safe and warn your neighbours. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.